What drew me to the field of oncology, first of all, I grew up surrounded by medical textbooks, interesting conversations about all kinds of illnesses. Also, I'm the fifth generation of physicians in my family, and my grandfather died of metastatic melanoma. That combination of my upbringing with my particular passion and interest in visual cues is what leads some of my passion and interest in early skin cancer detection. But what brought me to the University of Arizona Cancer Center in Tucson, when I came to interview, I asked about which kind of skin cancer program they have, and my surprise was that there wasn't a specialized skin cancer dedicated comprehensive program to take care of patients in the state. Now, 14 years later, we have a robust multidisciplinary program that takes care of not just Arizonians from all parts of the state, but also neighboring states. Dr. Curiel has really pushed the boundaries of skin cancer research. She's looking at methods like in vivo confocal microscopy, photoacoustic imaging, and even looking at the way that lesions on the skin might change over time with her whole body imaging. She is really advancing our ability to both detect early and save lives from skin cancer. There have been several possibilities that have become a reality in the past 10, 20 years, particularly in the area of skin cancer. One of them is the alternative to diagnose skin cancer without doing skin biopsy. So with non-invasive optic technologies, we can basically diagnose skin cancer without increasing the morbidity for the patients. Dr. Curiel is a very special research scientist in that she is both a clinician, a basic, and translational researcher. Uh, she has brought together researchers here at the University of Arizona Cancer Center to try to work on uh, new approaches to non-melanomatous skin cancer. And that is the type of skin cancer that's actually the most common here in Arizona and throughout the United States. We are always trying to identify gap areas that we can make it a reality. One of them is working with genetically engineered viruses that can be injected into skin cancers, particularly squamous cell carcinomas of the skin, and enhance the immune system to come and destroy not just the virus, but the tumor cells. In an academic setting, that's the exact beauty and advantage of it, is that you have individuals from engineering, behavioral sciences, nursing, epidemiology, physicians, molecular biologists, geneticists. Everyone counts when you're trying to push science forward.